Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Power Windows and DaVinci Resolve in order to draw your audience's attention to the subject of your video. Let's take a look. As an editor, my job is not just to make everything look good and sound good. It's not just to assemble the story. It's also to make sure that the audience's attention is where it should be when they're watching the video. And one of the easiest ways that I have found to do that is by using power windows. Now, power windows can be used for a lot of different things like masking and vignetting, but in this case, we're gonna use it kind of in a subtle way to really draw out the subject of our video clip so that the audience knows where to focus their attention. And we're gonna do this with a couple different clips. The first one is a completely locked off shot. The subject isn't moving, the camera isn't moving. It's super, super easy. The second one is with a locked off camera, but the subject is moving in the video. So let's take a look at these clips. The first one is a clip from my latest short film, Create and Be Happy. If you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend you do. It's kind of a passion project of mine. I'm very proud of it and I want the whole world to see it. The second clip is a clip of a girl walking along the water. This is a clip that I got from ArtGrid, which is where I get all of my stock footage. If you want to check them out, that will be linked below. If you sign up for an annual plan, there's actually two free months that they'll give you, which is super cool. So let's start with the talking headshot. Now I've done a little bit of color grading here already. We've got some film convert on there and I've brought down the exposure to make sure my skin was correctly exposed and I've added a new serial node and this serial node is where we're gonna be doing our power window. So let's come down to the bottom. Let's move over into our power windows. We're gonna make sure that we're using a circle window. I'm just gonna resize this a little bit so it's really just kind of framing me. That looks good. Let's widen that just a tiny bit. And then we're gonna really increase the softness here as much as, as much as you want. That looks good to me right there. And now let's go over and make sure that we're editing the outside of the window and not the inside of the window. Some people do this in a way where they edit the inside of the window and they actually bring up the exposure of the inside of the window, but I've always found that subtracting is better than adding. When you start adding exposure, when you start adding saturation and stuff like that, the image can fall apart. So I'd rather take away from the part of the image that we don't need than add to the part that we do. Does that make sense? That makes sense, right? All right, next thing to do is really easy. We're gonna come over into our custom curves and we're just gonna grab the highlights and we're gonna drag them down. I find that just dragging them down about a quarter of the way works really, really well because it brings down the exposure of everything around me, keeping me properly exposed. And you can't really tell that there's a vignette on there because of how much we increase the softness. And that allows me to really pop from the screen. I actually did that in this video, if you couldn't tell. This is something that I do in every single one of my talking head videos because I use a 10 millimeter lens and the aperture is like 4.5. So there's not a whole lot of depth of field that I'm working with. So doing stuff like this really allows me to pop off of the screen and allows you to focus on what you need to be focusing on instead of the microphones and the lights and the computer in the background. And that's really it. Super easy, super quick, super subtle. Now let's move on to the clip with the moving subject. And this is the same process. We're going to add a power window around our subject. We're going to soften it a lot. We're going to bring down the exposure of everything around us but there's an extra step because the subject is moving. We actually have to use tracking to make sure that that power window is staying with our subject. So let's go ahead and move on over to our new clip. And I've done again, some color grading a little bit. I just used Film Convert on this and I brought up the exposure a little bit inside of Film Convert and I've added a new serial node. And what we're gonna do is come, same thing. We're gonna go into our power windows, choose the circular window and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring this forward just a little bit so our entire subject is exposed. And then we're gonna reframe this power window so that it's around our subject. That looks good right about there. 
Now, I was playing around with this earlier and the tracking got all weird, so we actually have to do this the hard way, which is by moving forward a couple frames, moving the power window, setting a keyframe, moving it back a couple frames, moving, the, you get the idea. Let's go ahead and move this back, set a keyframe, move the power window a little bit, set a keyframe, and you get the idea. We're just gonna make sure that that power window is staying with the subject of our video. And then after that, we're gonna come back into our power windows. I'm gonna go ahead, increase that softness. That looks good right about there. Make sure that we're editing the outside of our window, come over to curves. And let's go ahead and bring down, if we bring it down too much, everything will go black around it. So let's move up about a quarter of the way down. And that looks good right about there. If I disable that, you can see it really brings out the subject of our video. And just so you can really see the difference, here's some before and after shots. Now, like I said, power windows can be used for a lot of things, including cloning yourself. If you wanna learn how to do that, make sure you check out this video right here. And for more videos on how to make better videos, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.